Hi, welcome to Wise Guy. This session for more and math calculation. So let's look at the question. Acid rain H2SO4 is produced by water vapor in the air combined with sulfur trioxide gas given off by factory. How many moles of H2SO4 would be produced from 200 grams of SO3? To follow the information, we need to write down the reaction equation. Because uh, the question gives us acid rain H2SO4 is produced by water vapor. So water vapor is H2O, right? It's H2O in the air combined with sulfur trioxide, which is SO3. So we write H2O, which is the gas and water vapor, plus SO3 also is the sulfur trioxide gas uh, this is the gas given off from factory. That's why they release pollution. And how many moles of acid ch acid rain, which is H2SO4, would be produced? So water vapor plus sulfur trioxide produce H2SO4 acid rain. So we're looking for how many moles of H2SO4? Before we do this question, we said we already write down the equation. We need to check how to balance it. So before reaction, we have two hydrogen. After reaction, two hydrogen. And the oxygen, we have one and three. We have four oxygen, one sulfur. So this equation don't need us to be uh, balance again because they already balanced. So that means read it one more is there no number in front of a uh, compound that means one. One more of water vapor plus one more sulfur trioxide will be produced one more acid rain H2SO4. So one, one, one relation. That's easy for us because we're looking for how many moles of this one. We put a question mark on the top or we say X. We're looking for X mole. We don't know how many moles of this one will produce. And from 200 grams of SO3. If you're given 200 grams, but this is, a, we're looking for more. The unit is not matching. So we need to convert 200 grams of sulfur trioxide to number of moles. So to convert 200 grams to number of moles, we just need to find the molar mass for SO3. So we can calculate, we can check the period table because S is because one, one S, one S equals to thirty-two. We just uh, use whole number point zero seven, which is uh, thirty-two grams. This is per mole. And the oxygen, we have three oxygen, three oxygen, and equals three times sixteen. Each oxygen is sixteen times. This is forty-eight grams. So total we have total this is a, this is one as this one so a total is thirty two grams this one forty eight add together is eighty gram per mole for one mole of sulfur sulfur trioxide and this is a eighty grams so then we can use ratio proportion you say okay 
so 80 gram equivalent one more right one more now you have 200 grams and equivalent how many more so uh, I don't want to confuse these two x uh, for the x1 and this x2 okay and you cross multiplication so x1 equals to 200 divided 80 because gram gram cancel out with the unit x as more okay divide the 200 by 80 you can get 2.5 so 2.5 this is a mole right 2.5 moles of sulfur trioxide so this is the 2.5 because the relation from balance equation is one to one one more, one more, right? So that's why this is the same. That's why the X2, so you have, you, you can say, if you write down the ratio form, same thing, 2.5, 2.5 more over one more, you just uh, write down this number on the top, this number on the bottom, this number on the top, this number on the bottom. So, x equals 2.5 mole, x2, right, x2. So that means from 200 grams of sulfur trioxide and 2.5 moles of H2SO4 will be produced. Okay, second question is if 18 grams of an unknown element X reacts with 5.76 gram of oxygen to form a compound with the molecule formula X4O6. Identify the unknown element. That means we need to find the molar mass for this element so that we can identify this element. So follow the information we write down the chemical reaction unknown X, we write X, reacts with oxygen, O2, to form a compound. This compound is X4, O6, right? And then we can see in this reaction, we need to balance it. Because before we actually win, this is 4, we multiply 4. We just multiply 4, and this is 6, this is 2, multiply 3. Then, the equation balance. So, you can read the 3 more of unknown element. React with 3 more of oxygen will produce 1 more of this compound. And now we're looking for identify the unknown element. So follow the information, 18 grams of unknown element. They have 18 grams, 18 grams, this is a given 18, 18 grams. You can write 18 grams and react with 5.76 gram of oxygen. This is a 5.76 gram of oxygen and produce this thing, right? So for this question, if you do using grams, uh, I think it's a little bit have more steps. Uh, how come if, uh, how about we use the number of moles? Because we already have four more, three more, right? To get one more, this one. So let's try first uh, use the number of moles to, to do that one. Before we do this one, we need to find the 5.76 gram is a how many moles? 
So as we know, oxidizing is uh, 16, and the multiply this one is, uh, let's say, we can write down this one. Can you write down first the setup equation to find what is 5.76 gram is equivalent to how many how many moles? We use small x represent the number of moles of oxygen. And the oxygen for one more oxygen, one more oxygen is 32 grams, right? Because we can see oxygen gas, oxygen gas is each oxygen 16, two oxygen is 32 grams. So one more of oxygen is 32 grams. Now you have 5.76 grams of oxygen equivalent to how many moles? So cross multiplication, so x equals to 32 on the bottom, 5.76 on the top. Then you figure out x equals, you got 0 0.18 moles. Once you figure out this one, you can write down this one into the equation. Instead of you write 5.76, write 0 0.18. Because this one we write the three mole, this is four mole. The ratio of unknown element with oxygen is, is four to three. But now we have 0 0.18 mole. This is 0, point, 0 0.18 mole, right? We don't use the, we don't use this one. We this these two equivalent, but because this is the more ratio, we still use more. So we setting up this ratio proportion. We said uh, this one is we don't know how many how many moles because we use this one. So we put question mark. On the top bottom is a four. Top bottom, top bottom equals zero point one eight over three. This is exactly ratio proportion. Uh, follow the direct proportion because more grams, more number of moles. And the four and the three just uh, follow the balanced equation. Just like uh, you make a cookie, you need to follow the recipe. So from this ratio proportion, we can find this one. So this one will be equal to 4 multiplied 0 0.16 divided by 3. Actually, this one you got answer is 0 0.24 mole. That means the 18 grams is 0 0.24 mole, right? Because they follow the ratio proportion. At the last step, then we can find The molar mass for this one. The molar mass for this one is because the reason is we're looking for the molar mass for X to identify what kind of element. So we follow the same ratio of this one. We have, we can write here, so write ratio proportion because this is the 18 grams is equivalent to 0 0.24 moles, right? Now we're looking for what about the one mole equal how many grams, right? This is one mole equal how many grams. Then we put the number here. We put the molar mass as M. So we can find this one. So cross multiplication, so M equals 18 divided by 0 0.24 you got the answer is 75 because this is gram this is a mole so we got 75 gram per mole each mole of unknown element is 75 gram per mole and if you want to know exactly what is this element so you can go to uh, periodic table to check 
just remember, I say this is the 75 is our E. Yeah, is our E. So, this is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you.